What's going on guys? So if you haven't had a chance to look at the video I just recently made, you're definitely going to want to watch this one because I am out here with my friends with Coachman and their Brookstone lineup and their Chaparral lineup, basically Coachman fifth wheels. I am in Elkhart, Indiana at the Forest River RV Dealer Show. This is really cool. There's RVs everywhere. I'm going to have a ton of content for you guys, but I'm definitely wanting to kick it off by saying a lot of great stuff coming out at this RV show. Um, I'm going to spend quite a bit of time here with the Coachman folks because I've collaborated with them. They're great people, and they've been doing a lot of exciting stuff. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so I got my good friend Dave Hofer with me. How are you doing, my friend? Hey, how are you this morning? I'm doing well. I'm freezing. We've it's had a lot wet. Of wet. Rain and it's cold. And more, more of it's <laughs> going to come. So we're going to try to speed through some of these videos. Okay, so we are standing in front of this beautiful Coachman Brookstone. This is an all-new prototype floor plan that is pretty much going to be the go-to-market model. But before we get any deeper, you know, I have to go over the numbers again, even though I went over them in yes. the previous video. So again, this is the 352 RLD. I'm, I'm assuming this stands for like rear living room dining room, but I could be wrong. Gross vehicle weight rating 15,000 pounds. Dry weight 12,428. Car uh, cargo carrying capacity 2,572 pounds, twin 7,000 pound axles. It is 13 feet 5 inches tall and it rides on 16 inch G rated tires. Very good. Hitch weight dry is approximately 2,420 pounds. All right, so there's some really nice features to this floor plan, especially one right there that I'm just dying to see on the inside of it. But before we hop inside, one thing I'd like to comment on is just how well these awnings are currently protecting us from the rain. We are getting dumped on today. Yeah, so. and it's raining right Sorry now. I don't, the background noise yeah, I guys. can't. I don't know if you can tell, but we're getting some pretty, uh, pretty, pretty heavy. heavy rain, and it's coming down even more. So we're going to speak up a little louder to talk over it. But let's take a look at some of the things you've done here on the outside of the unit. Yeah, absolutely. So in a previous video, we already touched on this, but just to share, we've probably increased this pass-through storage about 30%. That's directly from video feedback from your channel. So. You can tell the amount of extra space that we've carved out here. Yeah, that's huge because that was otherwise dead, unusable space, and now it's fully usable space. And we've continued to upgrade the product, you know, incrementally. Theory on camera prep on the outside of all of our products now is a standard feature. Now we have Asdell both on the exterior and interior walls we now. We have options for three ACs, which all three ACs, again, 15,000 BTUs. Two ACs are standard. And those um, will also be 15,000 BTU. Basically, yes. everything that goes in and out of your factory is going to have a 15,000 BTU Absolutely. AC on it. Absolutely. And the chaparrales now even have two. We have these flying over here. Hello. Yes, we do. <laughs> They're heading down to my area. <laughs> they probably are. It's a little warmer. So, we actually, on the chaparral product line, we even have two uh, 15K ACs. Um, as standard equipment, and it depends on the layout. You don't need it mm -hmm. on a 30 RLS, but anything larger than a 336 TSIK, if you're familiar with that lineup. Absolutely. So a lot of the uh, customer feedback um, from the videos, from your debut video, the number one most requested item was this, outside storage. So we've increased that exponentially across the board here. That's, that's pretty deep here. That is, that's Very about tall. a foot deep. And it's probably, I'm gonna say almost three feet tall. It's a great spot for folding chairs, you know, fishing equipment, that kind of thing. The outside kitchen is an absolute must. So you've got a really nice upgraded burner here. You've got the slide out prep tray. You've got the, the mini fridge and you've got a prep for large TV. It's an optional TV. Well, that is very cool. So yeah, this was big feedback because everyone is like, you know what, if there's way you can reclaim space and not just cover it up, why not do that? Every nook and cranny. Absolutely. Do you want to check out the inside real quick? Let's do that because it is raining on us outside, but we're protected by these awnings. It's still a little loud though. So four step entry is standard across the board in all of our products with the larger top step. So as we enter the, the brand new Brookstone here, this is the interior of the 352 RLD. You'll notice some cosmetic upgrades and some component upgrades as well. Notice the larger insignia oven. We've done some tonal changes um, on the refrigerators. This is your 17 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Works fantastic with the 190 watt solar panel that comes as an option. The prep is always there standard. Um, you'll notice we have the solid surface countertops in all of the Brookstone products as standard equipment. We've upgraded here to some of the backsplash. This is a real tile. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are sure. you saying you're using real tile this as your backsplash now? This was typically only available on, you know, very, very, very expensive premium units to get real tile. That is correct. That's awesome that you guys are doing that. And I love 
this whole setup right here. When we had our first Coachman Chaparral, we loved this layout around the sink. It's like this beautiful hutch that kind of surrounds this area. It gives you a lot of room on each side, and it just it looks really aesthetically pleasing. That's awesome. Absolutely. So over here, we've done some things a little differently. So we were having a lot of requests for mobile office type situation. You know, from here, obviously, this is where I set up my little office, mm -hmm. okay? Um, this would be a dining area or, you know, you have four bar stools here as well. So some of this area may change just a little bit because we wanted to accommodate some of the space. So, again, this is a prototype, but this may change down the road just a little bit. Well, I know the folks over at Coachman Fifth Wheels, mm -hmm. they love innovative bar stool type areas. Okay. I remember when I worked with you guys, you're like, oh, we would put bar stools in everything if we could. Absolutely. And that was cool that you actually did it in a way that functionally eliminated the dinette and replaced it with a dinette. Now with the solid surface top with bar stools that go around it and a very functional kind of gathering area too. You Correct. know, when people are cooking, when people are talking, this is where everyone's gonna wanna be. Another huge request was the coffee station. So that was one item. If you wanna pan around real quick, I've got some equipment over here, but. Oh my gosh. Check this space out. I just got to stare at it for a while. So, so you guys know my, my fascination with uh, coffee stations. And the reason why I focus so much on coffee stations isn't necessarily because you're going to put a coffee maker there. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Because most coffee machines now tend to be Keurigs or that size of machine. Right. And they take up a relatively good footprint. If you don't have a coffee maker, you might put an Instapot there. You might put a Ninja there. You may put some other type of food appliance there that needs its own spot, needs a dedicated spot where it's not taking up valuable cooking area, valuable prep area when you're cooking. So every time I point out a coffee station, it's really two requirements. It's enough room to fit a normal type kitchen appliance, but also provide you power for that appliance. And that's the nice thing here. So they're giving you a GFI outlet here that you can use for a coffee maker, something like that, but a Ninja or, you know, a, an Instapot. That's awesome. It's a perfect serving area too. If you really, if you, if you pan across, if you could see what I'm seeing right now, there is a ton of countertop space in this unit. So oh, for yeah. the chef out there, perfect layout. Tons of windows all the way around. So you got a beautiful vantage point back here. Our 78 inch trifle height of it. So if a lot of people don't realize, even in the Chaparral product, we use a much larger sofa than most brands out there so almost a king bed when that's made absolutely let's so, flip up the sides too though let's show yeah, them so, the other storage again every nook and cranny so even in the bedroom we'll have some areas to show you up front so over here we've got the articulating tv as well so from whatever vantage point if you're sitting over here doing some work you can swing around and watch the news we got cool. the white fireplace we've gone to sound bars across the board for all the products and real quick while we're here Let's admire the floor. You know, you guys, again, went away from carpet right there. Correct. You've gone to the bow floor, which is giving them the durability they need to be able to have a solid floor here with the overlap without imprinting. Correct. And even during your video debut, I didn't want to tell you this, but we were prototyping this at mm -hmm. that time. So we had to change floors in order for this to work properly. So we have switched to bow floor. It's a much more durable material that's more pliable, essentially. Mm -hmm. So one thing I want you guys to see real quick is just look at the sheer number of cabinets and drawers that are in this yes, unit. Absolutely. It's, right. They're everywhere. So this is gonna be your pantry that he's at right now. Yeah. You have all these cabinets down here. You have all these drawers right here. You have more cabinets around the TV. You have cabinets over here. You have drawers right there. I mean, they've really provided you with with probably more storage than you'd ever need. And Correct. my eye keeps looking at the fact that you got the cool stove in this unit. Standard across the board now in all Brookstones without a price increase. Um, so again, it's just one of those features we felt it was very important. You wanna Let's, check out the yeah, front end? Let's do it. So some pretty special items up here. Again, a new improvement for this year. This little toggle switch. Uh, so when you have three ACs installed, there's two zones. You can set your thermostat to say 72 degrees and it will automatically switch between those two zones. In this floor plan, we have two ACs in the main living area, one in the bedroom, all fully ducted together. If you wanted to say, head to the bedroom at night, all you have to do is press this button. It toggles between zone A and zone B right away. Oh, cool. And it'll switch right over. Now there is a delay there because of we're running three 15 K ACs. <laughs> yeah. Um, not at the same time. You have to run, you know, one zone here and then one zone here, but it'll adjust automatically to the temperature. Well, um, what I like about that is the fact that a lot of manufacturers are putting three ACs as an optional thing, but they're all 13.5s. Correct. And 
you can run three 13.5 ACs pretty easily at the same time. But when you're running larger 15K units, that is where you have to be concerned about how many you can run at the same time. But it's cool that you guys opted to do that and figure out a solution for it. The difference is amazing. Um, we were out when we prototyped it. I mean, 90 plus degree day, humid in Indiana. Um, and I can tell you the difference in the bedroom was just phenomenal. The difference in the living area was just amazing. Oh, I bet so, the dehumidifying capabilities are insane. It's fantastic. Yeah, that's awesome. So your traditional, you know, Brookstone, nothing has changed here. So nice seat for the lady here. Porcelain, just about everywhere. Yeah, this is my bathroom. You betcha. This is my bathroom, except I was lucky enough. I didn't get the cool stove, exactly. but I got the cool surround. You got the customized. You know, the Absolutely. Very cool. And a lot of room. So that's the big piece right here is they've made the bowl and the cabinetry here so it kind of bevels out right here so you have plenty of room underneath it. This is first class seating. So this is the unique part. So All right. Well, hold on, hold on. I don't want to I don't want to like give away the surprise here. So right. this bedroom is a throwback. It is. It's a throwback, but it's a modified throwback. Right. So right. 70s, 80s, we had split bass. A lot of people may have seen these way back in the day. And this guy's been in the industry forever. Uh, a little while. Yeah, yeah a little while. He's been in for over 45 years. So. Um, so a lot of times with a split bath, what that means is you'd walk through, you'd have a corner shower, and maybe in the bedroom you'd, ha you'd have a sink, which was, you know, it was kind of an inconvenience, to be honest with you. And you had to worry about humidity back in the day because... They used wood everywhere, you know. We don't need to worry about that now because we have Asdale on the interior paneling of all of our units. So you don't have to worry about that mildew or mold, um, that rotting smell in an RV. So mm -hmm. that's gone, okay? But if you want to pan around real quickly, we kind of did it a little bit better, I think, this time. So check this out. This is so cool. So, yeah, I, I've walked through some used pre-owned RVs. They typically are like your older DRVs, maybe your older, older Redwoods. Some of your older, very premium units. And in the master bedroom, you would have this sink in this awkward cornered location with nothing around it. Look what they did here. They put a sink in here. We did. But check out all this space now. This would be my wife's favorite area. I don't know if she'd ever let me in the bedroom again. I mean, because this is just the perfect area to get ready to prep while somebody's in the bathroom. Somebody's using the restroom, taking a shower, and, you know, the girls got to get ready. They got to right. have their, their, their makeup and their hair dryers and all this stuff. They put two... GFI outlets right here. This is awesome. This is really cool. Nice little, very functional space. Not just that, but look at all the extra storage you're getting over here. And, you know, this is a wide body unit. I feel very comfortable. I can easily walk around here. We can, you know, there's no problem whatsoever. You know, if you want to put a CPAP machine over on this side, no problem whatsoever. All of the Brookstones, you'll notice we have the extra large Atrium style windows over here. We've actually added, if you wanted to set a phone up here, you can do that. We've added chargers or a, a place for a charger on both sides of the bed there. And you still have the cover. I know you don't like these, JD, but for <laughs> me, I've got to have my tea at night. So it's just a nice little convenience for me. So, oh, yeah. And the pillow top mattress, of course, and all of our products. And I like how it's set low, too. So it's very easy to get on and off the bed. You do have the extra storage underneath here. Oh, it's Again, very nicely gear, trimmed off as well. Gear driven slide. So you've got your stackable washer and dryer closet in the Brookstone. Okay. So and we know that works. Ones. It does. Yeah, we know it that does. works you because we have the yeah, we have the Splendid stackable unit in ours. Absolutely. And you still have the closet storage over here as well. Outstanding. And another feature that they've recently added, and it was kind of prototyped on ours, is this. So now you get the storage here. And they've been doing this on, on units for a little while now, but this is really cool that you have this storage because, again, typically dead space. Absolutely. Space you may not use, so now they're repurposing it. That is awesome. I love the fact that they include blackout blinds now on everything. That is awesome. I love the fact that they removed the side valances so they don't get knocked off anymore. That's correct. Um, it's really cool, and it's prepped for your TV up there as well. And Absolutely. this unit does have the three ACs, so it has two in the living area, one in the kitchen, one in the living room, and one here, and they're all 15K units. Absolutely awesome. So we're going to go ahead and move to the outside of this unit just real quickly and do a quick walk around because it still might be raining outside. So we're going to try not to get too wet. Okay, so I'm going to try to point out all the main things from the outside. We already talked about the suspension in another video, Road Armor Standard on everything. This was part of the collaboration we did. This uh, was certainly one of the things that was important to me from a chassis perspective. So they now have the Road Armor suspension on everything. Half-inch thick shackle straps, greasable wet bolts, G-rated tires, 7,000-pound Dexter axles. This unit has the ground control electric auto leveling system. Some of the units may have four jacks, some of them have six jacks. It's really dependent on the length of the unit. And if 
if you need the center jacks. The center jacks are just stabilization jacks. So if you don't need them because of the length, not that big of a deal. Coming around to the back, four inch tubular bumper back here, all LED lighting. That was a big one. And this was years ago when we first started collaborating, but they were still using incandescent lighting on the outside and LED lighting on the inside. So I had mentioned, you know, why not just do all LED everywhere? They took the advice and did that. Has a two inch receiver on the back that's designed for an accessory rack, cargo carrier. And again, the four inch tubular bumper, which a lot of manufacturers are removing to save cost. Full walkable roof. You can see the little corner gutter there is working perfectly and channeling water off. Again, all gear driven rack and pinion slides going through a 12 inch I-beam frame. Coming around this way, here's our mid bunk. And one feature that they recently added to their units, which is super cool, and this was a direct result of the collaboration we did, was they put a light above the sewer connection now. Why is this important? Because a lot of times you show up at the RV campground late at night, it's getting dark, or you need to come out at night and check something. And it's really nice to have a bright light out here that will illuminate this area to give you good visibility into what's going on. Of course, you have your water heater and your furnace. And what size furnace is this? You've got a 40,000 BTU furnace. So 40,000 BTU furnace. And you do 20 gallons per hour with all of our mid-profile water heaters and the Brookstone. So what's special about this is that it has an aluminum tank. So you don't have an anode rod that you have to change out on it, which is super awesome. Super confusing for me when we had our chaparral because I was looking for it. But yeah, this specific unit is a more premium unit and it doesn't utilize an anode rod. This is our wet bay. Oh, I like that they made the tray so it bevels up here on the bottom now. Absolutely. So basically you're bringing every, you know, your cords, your water lines, everything up into here. You can lock this where it's safe. We've got water filtration prep. So with the water heater bypass valve, this is a very nice convenience for customers who want to do their own winterization. Yeah. All you have to do is flip a switch. You don't have to get to the back of the water heater. That's very cool. We're doing all of our own wiring here for cable and satellite connections and that's run to every single TV location even in the pass-through storage. Okay and what's nice about this is I know a lot of folks are using the Nautilus board right here for all their connections. The problem I've realized is how congested that area tends to get with all of your all of your hoses everything going into it. It's nice that they kind of still build their own board here and spread everything out so you have a lot easier access to everything without it all kind of feeling as if it's congested in one area. Very cool. You have your leveling control and you have your power disconnect. Very, very important features. Still using these thick doors for the baggage with so, really nice slam latches. And this is across the board in all of our products. So just because you see a Chaparral light as an example, mm -hmm. this is one of the situations where we use the same thick insulated baggage doors, metal slam latches across the board for all of our product lines. That's awesome. Well, David, you guys have really outdone yourself. I think the most exciting things I've heard so far that I absolutely love Asdell, both sides. That's Absolutely. super cool. That and that's rare out here. I, I probably would guess less than five percent, probably less than that, have done anything like that. And probably the majority of the coaches out here don't even have Asdell. Period. Correct. So you guys have Asdell both on the interior and exterior, which is game changing. Three ACs optional, two AC standard, all of them fifteen k BTU units. That's huge. That's awesome as well. And then some things like the tile backsplash, real tile. That's usually something, you know, designated for your Van Lee Beacons, for your right. Luxes, for your DRVs. And to see it in a Brookstone's awesome, as well as the new Insignia cooktop or the gas stove, all of that stuff. You guys have done a phenomenal job. Thank you. So anyways, guys, we're going to look at some more units. This thing is super cool, super cool floor plan. When should people start expecting to see this in dealership lots? I would say within the next two months. So, you know, I would say October, November time frame, we'll probably start shipping. Okay, sounds good. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, now is a perfect time to subscribe to the channel so you can see more really cool floor plans from all the different manufacturers that are out here. But we're going to spend some more time here at Coachman because they have other really unique floor plans. We'll talk to you again very soon.